I remember being a child, maybe most of us do. You never know what the world has for you at that age. Life is innocent then. You have no idea if the world will treat you differently. But very quickly in life, I found myself in spaces where I felt all alone. Can you pick me out? I like math, music, and playing chess, and my future led me into engineering and technology. I made it through the first door, getting into tech. Hi, my name is Tiara Hearn, and I grew up in Michigan, and I was in high school in the late 2000s. As a young Black woman in Detroit, education and opportunities in technology were not always available to me. So I got into the airline industry, and I became a flight attendant. Time started to fly, and somehow my 30s are right around the corner. The world has changed so much, and there are now opportunities in tech that weren't available to me before. So now I'm eagerly seeking um, positions in cloud, and I'm currently studying for my AWS Solutions Architect Associate, and I'm also um, pursuing an associate's degree in IT. The door into tech was not completely open for me, and it still hasn't opened for me. It was door number two that closed in on me. It first appeared when I felt I was being passed over for promotion opportunities. As a leader, my budget seemed to get cut the most, in meetings, I was over-talked. My ideas were constantly discounted. No one seemed to hear me. And again, I felt left out and often was not invited to spaces where the other leaders participated. And there were no other senior black leaders to help me either. So I pivoted and started a software company at age 45. It was exciting, patents were awarded, and we had many market successes. But it was so hard getting funding. I still remember the look from my son when I was awarded $500,000 from a statewide funding program when he saw that the standard award from the non-Black recipients was $2 million. Hi, I'm Peter Beasley, and that little boy in the sixth grade is me. And somehow, I'm now in my 60s. So September 2020, DeAndre Liberty, John Melanson, and I, we started Built. We are Blacks United in leading technology, and we're different, we're built forward. At Built, we increase the representation and participation of Black people in tech, with the near-term goal to double the Black representation in tech to 14% of the U.S. population by 2030. We hold open all three doors that have historically held Black people out of tech. The door to get into tech, the door to advance in tech, and the door to lead and own Black tech enterprises. And as we hold the doors open, others can come through too. Built is an essential community to tap into as a resource and system of support. With added contributions, we can do so much more, providing technical training, adding certification programs for our members to help with professional networking. And if you think about it, the wealth that comes from high paying black tech jobs flows into communities, churches, families, children's education, and it helps society overall. At Built, we unite others who want to get involved. Corporations, endowments, grant makers, philanthropists. We need help. Actually, it's society that needs help. Together, we can help eliminate the racial injustices that have hurt so many people for far too long.